Alright, so, um, yeah, so, uh, last time we've, um, covered the directories in Linux, and, uh, a few episodes back we covered some commands, and now we're going to, uh, write some scripts, because scripts can be used to automate a lot of stuff you'll be doing manually, you can uh, make custom scripts to do certain tasks, so you don't have to like sit if you want to like update all of the stuff on your computer without having to type much, you can just create a script for that. Wanna remove certain directories to keep your system clean, you can write a script for that. Scripts have like literally unlimited uses and today I'll be showing you how to write your first script. Uh actually your first three scripts. Uh we will go over every single thing you will need to know. And uh, the first thing I'd like to uh, do is show you on an example. So I'm going to use Vim for this once again. And I'm going to create a um, script that is called you know, uh, hello world.sh. Uh, so this is our script. And now it's empty. But now we're going to change that. So we do pound exclamation point forward slash bin forward slash bash that's really important without that in the beginning your, our script will not work so our first script will essentially contain just one line of code as it's doing the line of code will be echo double quotes and type in hello world save and quit and to launch and test your script just type in bash and the name of the script. Just type in the first few letters, letters and tab, it will auto complete. And once we run it, you see it's printed out hello world just like we set it to. To check to check if I wasn't lying to you, I'm going to print out the text of our script. So this is what our script looks like, and this is what it printed out. Essentially, it did just that, it printed out the text. So that's our first script. That was really easy. A second script is going to be a calculator. So let's call it simcalc.sh for simple calculator. Um, here comes the fun part. So again, pound, exclamation point, uh, forward slash, bin, forward slash, bash. Uh, next we're going to make it so it can take user input. So user input in bash is handled by the read command. Essentially, everything you type in will be stored as a variable on the next line. So, if we type in read and, for example, x, it will store any number we write on that line as the variable x. And since this is a calculator, we're going to need two variables, so that's we're going to add uh, y as the next one. That's one way to define variables. How are we going to need local variables that we can use for this script alone. Uh, you can define those by typing in let and then do you know, res1 but we need to give them an operation that they have to do. So we do equal and here comes the fun part. If you want to call a um, variable so you don't have to type it in again we will just do dollar sign and the name of the variable which if you remember we assigned x as the first number so dollar sign x Oops. plus dollar sign y. This will do addition and let's do subtraction next. Uh, again, res2 equals and then do dollar sign x minus dollar sign y. But how do we print it out? Actually really easy, just type in echo and type in and double quotes um, well, what? Uh, you can either just print out just that one piece of text by doing a dollar sign res one. Um, cannot see it. Yeah, it's res one. It's a bit darker. I'm sorry for that. And um, well, let's say we're not printing out even the text before it. So the way you would do this is by doing uh, in the double quotes you do dollar dollar sign x minus dollar sign y equals dollar sign rest 2 
and that's pretty much our script written. Um, bear in mind you can define more calculations like this. Um, you can define others by typing let rest 3 be equal to, I don't know, dollar sign x multiplied by dollar sign y and you'll have multiplication. Yeah, uh, so that's that. So what we're going to do is we're going to write and quit and we're going to run that. So we're going to run the script. So we're going to put bash, um, simple code of the sage, and it's fighting for inputs. So we give it, I don't know, 4 and 2. As so you can see, 4 plus 2 uh, equals 6, and 4 minus 2 equals 2. So that's our simple calculator created. So we've already got two scripts written. So, uh, and the last one that I want to write is one that is actually simple and easy to understand. It's an if statement script. Uh, so let's do them uh, f dot sh and here comes the fun part once again pound exclamation point forward slash bin forward slash bash and next what we do is we do uh, if square brackets um, uh, then dollar sign one, uh, then dash gt, uh, then uh, 100 space, um, then echo um, that uh, number is greater than 100 dot and uh, we do uh, vi and that's pretty much it so let me explain what each line does so uh, f is the f statement if the number typed after calling the script is greater than 100 print out that number is greater than 100 um, what we can do, however, is type in uh, echo um, or just print out the date itself just by using the date command actually there so we can uh, differ if it actually works or not so uh, based on what we've seen is that if we uh, call our script without anything it's going to print out that it's, that it's expecting a value uh, but it will print out the date and time so let's say uh, while of 85 for example it will say nothing just the date and if we type in I don't know 101 it will say that number is greater than 100 and will print out the date the main difference here is that it, for the first time when I run it it said there was an error. It, it's expecting an operator, so basically it's expecting a number at the end. So I do space and type in the number 85. The difference this time was that it did go through the if statement. It was like that number is not greater than 100, so I'm not gonna print out anything. And uh, the next time I type in 101, and it says that number is greater. Cannot type. Sorry for the typo. That number is greater than 100, so <laughs> it printed that out, and I have to fix that. How did I mix that? Okay, um, let's run this once again. So, again, in the order, so without that, with a number smaller than that, and with a number bigger than that, and let's print out the Oh, oh, okay. So, yeah, so basically, I fixed it now. So, first time, again, the same thing. It's expecting a number. Second time, it wrote a number, but it was smaller than 100, so I didn't bother executing the first part. And after I put in 101, it bothered to execute it with text, and this is the script that we wrote. So, yeah, so overall, uh, uh, simple scripts that everyone can write and work on. Um, you can 
work on these pretty much anytime and you want. Um, it's really easy to work on these. You can study them online if you want. But that's pretty much the basics of shell scripting. Um, you can do all kinds of things. For example, we could actually, let me do just one more thing. Sounds like, why not, if, if we can. Um, print 100 numbers. So I've been thinking, how the heck am I going to print 100 numbers? Um, am I going to like write, write, write each one of them out individually? Uh, don't be stupid. Um, what we're going to use is we're going to use a for loop. Um, and we're going to go ahead and do fg, I believe. And um, so I think it was x equals 100. No, equals 0 actually. And uh, then x is. No, let x be equal to 100, be to equal to 0, and then do x is smaller or equal to 100, and then do x plus plus, and then we are going to do, um, actually can I go ahead and look this up real quick, because I'm not really sure if I'm typing this in correctly, um, or bash, whoops, or bash scripting. Uh, we just want to create a for loop. It's not working, so we type in like uh, for loop. There we go. Oops, my scripting. Uh, it's actually very similar to that. I'm just looking for something. Um, oh, it's not actually for. It's okay. Um, hmm. So that's the part equal to ten. Okay, interesting. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Uh, when it comes in terms of the for loop, it's not like in regular programming, it works in a different way. Uh, to uh, let's say it's a counter, so we're going to, uh, I don't know, let's make a uh, counter like c, uh, c equals uh, 1, and then we're going to do. Um, while then we are going to do the square brackets thing again. Uh, we're going to do we're going to call the counter uh, and it's less or equal, so it'll be L E and then we do I don't know one hundred and one because we're starting from one or we can change this to zero to make it count up properly. Um and then do um, echo and we're going to print out the counter but also we wanted to do um, the counter thing so we need to do c plus inside of here and uh, we're going to type in done and Let's type out uh, echo or done. So uh, I'm going to explain this once I run this. Oh, of course, of course, I'm missing something. <coughs> I'm sorry. And boom, we have printed, we have printed out 100 numbers. Um, numbers.txt 
Uh, let's open that up and then. So that's all 100 numbers printed out. As you can see, so the script does work. So in conclusion, um, I showed you a few extra things that you can do. Um, Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, um, that's all the scripts that I have time for today, um, I hope it helped some of you with some of your things, um, you can pretty much uh, also like let me know if you want to know something else, and it's all about research, so yeah, that's that. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, uh, it was just a small tutorial on writing scripts, I forgot how to write a for loop because I'm dumb, <laughs> but that's how you write it. Um, I'm used to regular C sharp programming, so this was a bit out of my league. Uh, I wanted to try something new anyway. Uh, it it isn't that new for me. I've done it before, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful to some of you and gave you some insights on writing uh, scripts that can make things for you. So. Yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for me, and I hope to see you guys next time.